Hello and welcome to today's art class. Feel free to pause this video along the way to keep up with all of the steps. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a geometric animal using tints and shades. To start with we will need some water, paint brushes, a paint tray and we will also need three colours. You will need to choose a neutral colour. I have decided to use blue as my neutral colour. You will also need white to mix and make tints and black because when you mix black and your neutral colour it makes a shade. Once you have downloaded the geometric designs document, you can then choose which animal you would like to use. Today I've decided to paint a zebra. It's now time to pour out your paint. You will only need a tiny bit of black and you will need a decent amount of white. That's because when you mix black with a neutral colour, you only need to add the tiniest little part. I'm going to start by painting a section on my zebra with the neutral colour. That means just the colour straight as it comes out of the paint tube. It can be easier to paint a few sections with the same colour to save time. Now I'm going to make a tint. So remember, to make a tint you need to add your neutral colour and white. I'm going to start by adding about equal parts blue and white. And then I can paint some more sections on my zebra. to have a go at making a shade now so I'm just going to use the tiniest bit of black and some blue to make a shade. It can be really helpful to use a very small paintbrush when you're painting these geometric animals. That can make it a lot easier to stay inside the lines. We are going to be cutting out this animal in the next step. So if you do go outside the animal's face with your paint just a little bit, it's actually okay. Once you have finished painting your geometric animal face, it's time to set it aside to dry and let's get started on the background. It's now time to design your background. I decided to make my background with warm colours to contrast against the blue zebra. You can design your background in any way that you like. It's now time to glue it down. I can't wait to see the geometric animal faces that you make with tints and shades. Thanks for watching, see you next time.